Hi, Muglets. Today we're gonna to be raising Fushuin. We're just gonna be starting as usual with leveling her up. Let's just go ahead and keep ascending her. Don't necessarily need to say anything while I'm raising her, I guess. We should pretty much have most of what we need, if not everything. We did a lot of XP book farming. She is a very pretty character, I agree. Oh wow, we're, we're just straight shouting her all the way up to uh, max ascension and level 80, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, usually, you know, for Genshin, I start with the raising mode, so I, I usually keep them at 70 or something, but we, like, prepared so much for her anyway, so why not? Just skip the raising mode, go straight to god mode. We also did get her sign signature light cone. Let's see if we can max that out straight away as well. She is a preservation character. She damage mitigates, she heals, she can buff a little bit as well. Damn, we didn't have to even go uh, craft anything. She's at 80, her card's level 80, that's very nice. Not quite ready yet, we still got traces to do. Oh lord, this... I don't think I farmed enough for everything, but um, let's just start. We got the crit rate 2.7 there. Why does she get crit rate though? That's kind of weird. And more crit rate. She gets lots of crit rate. We'll look into relics after traces. Mm, let's take a look at these bonus abilities. When Fushwin's ultimate is used, heals all other allies by an amount equal to 5% of Fushwin's max HP. So yeah, we need lots of HP. I mean, it's only 5%, but it's a still a little decent heal, I guess. So if you use it again, she'll just get extra energy and can do her ultimate faster, I guess. But obviously, let's go ahead and get that. And her final bonus ability here, uh, if a target enemy applies crowd control debuff to allies while the Matrix of Prescience is active, all allies will resist all crowd control debuffs. Wow applied by the enemy target during the current action. This effect can only be triggered once, but yeah, okay, so once per trigger of her skill, I guess. That's actually not bad though, that's pretty cool. She probably will be doing her basic somewhat often. Ultimate, not super high priority. Basic, not really. I guess we'll get it to three. She will be doing basic sometimes. Um, known by stars, shown by hearts is, is her skill. I think this is the main important thing. 65% of the damage they receive, which increases their respective max HP by 3% of Fushuin's max HP and increases crit rate by 6%. That is, of course, very important. How much does, does that go up? Oh, uh, more than I thought, actually. 0.3 of the max HP and, uh, I think half a percent or so of crit rate. So yeah, definitely this is highest priority. The, the entire team should pretty much always have these buffs. So there it is at level eight. It is 10.5% crit rate and 5% of her max HP. As, an, as a max HP buff, it's pretty good. We also have her talent. With Misfortune Avoidance, allies take 10% less damage, which goes up to 0.8 per level. Okay, that's nice. Okay, but that is only her own HP that gets restored. So her talent only heals herself, but it also reduces damage from everyone. Uh, I think with her light cone though, she can heal everyone. At the start of every wave, restores HP to all allies by... Okay, so she's not really a dedicated healer. You, like, in really hard content, you probably will need someone who can heal, I imagine, unless you have some other form of uh, self-sustain amongst your units. Yeah, when she uses her ultimate, it's 5% of her, her max HP that gets healed. She doesn't heal that much. Honestly, we'll see if it's enough. I'm obviously going to be trying her without any healers. Uh, we should get these cheap things around as well, but actually let's race her talent a bit more. This seems to be the second most important thing. I would like to get it to eight. There is a trace to level eight. That's probably where we'll keep everything for now. I wanna go around, I guess, getting the, uh, I mean, at least just to get to the HP, because that's what we actually want. Sure, we'll get the effect res, underestimating her. Yeah, I mean, I could be. Well, we'll see. We have Memory of Chaos, I think, eight, nine, and 10 to do. I think traces are good. You know, the important ones are both at eight, skill and talent, ultimate. I just got it to five because it was still cheap, basic, three. So uh, as for relics, this is something I really do do not enjoy doing on stream because it takes forever. Probably two piece damage reduction, two piece HP would be like, Best. Yeah, I was gonna try Mono Quantum. I'd probably have to look at my Sila again. She's probably not built. Oh, did we just hit level 69? Let's go, let's go. Bom bom, give me stuff. One level to go. I don't really know if I wanna raise another character right now since we just got her to 80 and I didn't really pre-farm for her, so that'd be a pain. I know we're supposed to give her like primarily HP, but like even boots. Yeah, energy rope is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, here we have death percent and effect res. Doesn't look too bad. Anyway. Speed boots, would like HP sub. So we're just gonna go HP set then I guess. Look for some HP speed effector as. Like this one on blade looks uh, pretty good actually. I don't, oh, there we go, that's perfect. HP def effector as. Fourth sub with speed maybe. Let's straight shot it all the way to 15. See what happens. Here we go. And what happened there? No HP rolls, one def roll and two effect res rolls. 
Just went into flat HP a lot. All right, I mean, it's good enough. So we got the HP set. Now we need a damage reduction set. She doesn't scale with death or anything. It just, I guess, would help her survive more. We probably do need speed boots. We'll raise these, I guess, to 12 for now. They're not gonna be perfect, obviously, but let's see if fourth sub is death. Usually, like 90% of the time, it would be death. Actually, effect res. And HP got boosted. All right, let's try and raise these, see what happens. Okay, okay, those are actually not bad. 12.5 HP, four speed, seven effect res. Didn't go into flat death. Really? At plus 15, we got one speed roll and nothing else. What are we at? 8,100 HP, 1,500 death. Like, it's nothing special, but it's fine. Gonna max out the boots then. Effect res, you know. Could have been effect hit rate. That would have been dumb. What effect res are we rocking right now, actually? 54.5. I'm actually surprised, not bad. I think she's done. I think she actually looks decent. I don't know, let's just go do Memory of Chaos, I suppose. Okay, so we only have one enemy anymore, which means we can do all the good buffs. We'll probably just try a different team. So we shouldn't need her skill right now. We use the technique point. Would take links, but I, uh, yeah, that's too many skill points. Also Blade, Blade, oh no. <laughs> Blade really needs an actual healer, <laughs> I just realized. Yeah, I saw the field flashing in the test run. Good to know that's how it works. I don't think our, she just healed Blade a ton from that, uh, for I think the Light Cone passive, so. I don't know if it's going to be enough in this case, uh, but I guess we do gotta use it now. I don't know, may as well use her ultimate. It just basically gives us another one of those stacks. I know he does uh, uh, have some self-sustain, but even so, it's a little scary. Why Why is there no ultimate cancel button? Well, that should do it anyway. I mean, we survived perfectly fine. Uh, I mean, this is still only uh, stage eight, I think, so it shouldn't be that hard regardless, but uh, uh, I would say she's one of those characters that can definitely fit in pretty much any team. She's not niche at all. I would say in most content, you can use her without any any other defensive support. You know, she can heal, damage reduction, damage mitigation. Also, she gives like a 10% crit rate boost, which is cool. Not something you find on other defensive supports. I guess if you want to do mono quantum, then yeah, she is uh, better recommended types this time. We're gonna try no Bailu, Silver Wolf and her. That way, even if it is quantum, it's not like Horrible. I would prefer lightning though, but yeah, I think that's uh, I think that'll be an okay team I know how the monkey works, but like what am I supposed to do not attack with the uh, genuine skill? I kind of need to We took like no damage look at that <laughs> I don't think that that's a super strong attack anyway, but that was uh, that was pretty decent. It's flashing now So do we do the skill when it's flashing or on the next turn because I think if we do a normal attack now it goes away I'm gonna try just doing a normal yeah, now it's gone, okay. I mean, he's disabled, so I guess he's not gonna attack anyway. Oh, now we get lightning, okay. I hate using auto with Silverwolf because she always targets minions with her stuff and that's kind of dumb. Yeah, I think next time I will do it when it's flashing because not only will we have all uptime always on it, but we get that extra 20 energy. Might need uh, Jingyuan to be a little faster. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice he had quantum weakness already. That's probably the only reason we, we actually got lightning. <laughs> kind of waiting for like a big ultimate attack. Hopefully we'll see that and see how it uh, see how it does really. Uh, this time we do get to do another Jinguan attack before, so that's good. So it should be decent. Yes, quite decent, quite decent. I'm pretty sure there's no other wave after this. Eh, okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that felt like it took forever. And we're on to node two. We need to win with 14 cycles left. That means 10 cycles. That should be actually Easily doable. I think this team is a little stronger overall. There's no, okay, yeah, that was it. Wait, what? Nine is harder than 10? No, it's not. All right, one to go. I guess I'm gonna go with my typical team again. I don't think this, I don't think the first team's gonna survive. I need to build Bailu better. Let's see how it goes. Oh God, the HP reduction. Oh, I can't do mono quantum. Don't have four raised quantums. I will do that in a future video, but for now I can't even do mo mono quantum anyway. All right, let's try this again, I suppose. Bailu instead of Tingyun. Rather see if she can support this team on her own as my single defensive supporter. Is she impressive enough? Someone said I was underestimating her, but we'll see. Maybe I'm overestimating her now. This one does seem to be going faster anyway. Oh, dude, and uh, 
Fushun's so good for this. She can uh, ignore Joppa debuff, whatever, the max HP reduction. I'm gonna try and do a uh, death down on this dude. He's actually scarier in my opinion. The counters are so dumb. Now we can do ultimate and then we can do Ting Yun ultimate to give energy back plus buff for future Lightning Lord coming up. Do something. Not bad. Oh, he's almost dead. What the hell? Wait. We just need to survive a little bit longer. That was pretty quick too. Well, I mean, she's still here. I'm not gonna count my horses before they're hatched. I think I said something wrong there, but come on. <laughs> Got a little close there with Ting Yun at the end. Uh, let's see how this team goes though. This one might not work. Oh, damn, that was a big attack. I don't think I've ever really fought this dude before. Oh, do we have to kill these before we can weakness break him? Yeah, I don't I don't even know how this boss works, but yeah, I I kinda guessed right. Now we can uh, now we can do stuff with weakness, but oh no. He's doing something. He's doing something. Is this that burst someone was talking about? We might be able to break him. Actually we can definitely break him. I don't I don't I don't even wanna see it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. He was about to do the AoE attack, but I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to see it. I just wanted to get my three stars and run away. Team can survive super well with her. And also uh, that extra 10% crit rate that you basically always have with her is nice. I'm probably gonna wrap it up for now though. First impressions wise, which I know is weird because she's already completely maxed. <laughs> But uh, I'd say a very versatile character, like I said earlier. Uh, I don't know if you necessarily need her light cone. It is just stats at the end of the day, but uh, this part actually, at the start of every wave, restores HP to all allies. That actually can do a lot of healing. We didn't have a healer in floor 10 right now or uh, stage 10. We just had her. And it was getting a little close with Tingyun at the end, but I mean, we totally survived. So that was cool. I kind of like to get a little bit more familiar with them, play with them a little bit more in other content on my own before like going further into it. So see you guys. Have a nice rest of your day or night or morning, whatever it is for y'all. Bye.